What is going on guys? This is Mystic Spade and welcome to another video that you guys are going to be watching from me. This is a kill confirm gameplay using the MP7 and we're just going to title this one confirming kills and you'll be able to see why at the end of the video. Uh, it starts off kind of sluggish, starts off kind of bullshittish, but you know that's Black Ops 2. It takes a little bit to pick up steam. Uh, but anyways guys, once again as always, thank you for taking the time to watch my video and listen to what I have to say even though it typically doesn't mean much or anything to anyone. Uh, anyways, I've been trying to branch off and play different game types because I've been, for those of you that have been following me for as long as I've been on YouTube and live streaming, I've always been a TDM player in terms of Call of Duty, Hardcore TDM, Reg TDM, and so forth. And in Modern Warfare 2, that's when I started to branch off and play Sabotage and, and other game modes like that. Sabotage, Demolition and game types of that sort. Never really been a search and destroy player though, but I started to break off in other things. But in Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 2, I was always still just a, primarily a TDM player. That's what I like to play. But I never... I was having a hard time, I guess you could say, getting my streaks in TDM because of the score cap on them. Uh, with them being like in a ridiculous amount to get them. And then you get so little score uh, during TDM itself, you know, because when you play Kill Confirm, you get 50 points for the kill, and then you yourself get 100 points for picking up the tags of the person you kill, and then you get 25 points if someone else picks up the tag of, of your kill. Uh, whereas, and that helps you accumulate your your kill streaks really quick, especially if you're running hardline. You know, I kind of I drop I drop my streak a couple of times in this video, but I, I pick it up, and I do believe I get a double warthog in it in my previous video I got a triple warthog using the same thing uh, in this mp7 class I'm not one to actually talk about gameplay that much but this mp7 class is actually really dirty you know and I never thought to use it just because I'm not a big mp7 fan and it's really really simple there's nothing you know really drastic on the gun itself it's just long barrel and fast mags and it helps the gun supremely well with the long barrel and I was always kind of worried about, you know, with a uh, range and stuff on it. And, and the thing is, is like if you put long barrel on it, I mean, it's not like you're going to be able to shoot cross map with the thing, but your medium range definitely benefits a whole lot. And then naturally you can hip fire up close and do what you need to do. But anyways, like I said, I was doing this, like playing kill confirmed is on Black Ops 2 is essentially is almost the new TDM, especially if you're wanting to get your streaks. And TDM is all fine and dandy if you're wanting to run something really low, you know, like a UAV, Hunter Killer Drone, and then Care Package, because you'll pretty much get all three at the same time. You know, they're probably 25 points difference between each one. They're not really drastic. They're not super hard to get. <coughs> Sorry. But at the same time, you know, it's like without, without Hardline or anything like that, it's like you have to get a metal. You have to get a Bloodthirsty just to get a UAV and TDM. There's no ways around it or anything like that. And one of the things I like to do in Modern Warfare 3 that really pissed a lot of people off is I would run the Assault Strike Package with only UAV and Hardline. So I would have a UAV every two kills, and then what would happen is if you overlap three UAVs, it automatically turned into an advanced UAV, which in turn would keep recycling. So there is an always constant UAV in the air at any given time. And I kind of figured out that that does really work well in TDM on this game as well. If you just run a uh, UAV only, naturally you're not going to get a Blackbird by overlapping three UAVs or a VSAT from overlapping three UAVs. None of that. But if you in TDM, if you just wanted to, you know, say run run a UAV and have a teammate run nothing but counters and so forth. I mean, that's entirely up to your party if y'all want to do that or anything of that sort. But at the same time, you know, I. I find that just streaks like that will help benefit you in winning TDM consistently, you know, and people that worry about campers and so forth. It's running UAV only, and especially how the points recycle back into it now, that's probably the best idea to go. But in, in terms of Kill Confirmed, if you really want your streaks, Kill Confirmed is awesome. And I have never really played Kill Confirmed hardcore until today. And I had so much fun, and I was able to get my streaks 90% of the time. And I wasn't really running super low-end streaks. I was running Stealth Chopper, VSAT, and Warthog. And before that, I was running, uh, what was I running? I was running the AGR, Stealth Chopper, and VSAT. 
I wasn't running anything ridiculous, but I wasn't running anything low. It did take work to get these streaks, and it was it felt good when I got them. You know, and what's really funny about this game is I didn't get the most kills out of everyone on my team or everyone in my lobby, but I had the most points by a couple thousand. I had a couple thousand more points than anyone else in my lobby, and that's because you're about to see here is because if you look at the scoreboard I have 38 confirms out of everyone on my team but anyways guys this was Spade thanks for watching